My name is Fatima Rodrigo and I am a visual artist from Peru. During the last years, I have dedicated my practice to explore the different ideas of modernity and gender identity in Latin America. I am very interested in uh, recognizing how modernity understood broadly as a moment in history, an aspiration and an aesthetic that becomes embodied in landscapes and bodies, not only coexists with, but also enables violence against vulnerable populations. Um, through different kinds of devices such as architecture, popular culture and modern art, I try to problematize the, st the structures of power that continue to organize the world in a post-colonial context. I also use different kinds of media, mainly installation, but also exploring uh, with drawing, video and textile. Um, despite my marked interest in certain social patterns, my approach is neither anthropological or sociological. It is instead rooted in encounters with specific moments or things, such as clothing, TV sets, or architectural elements, which is the case of the video that I'm going to present today. I started developing this project in 2016 for an exhibition at many studios within the context of the Glasgow International Festival. I came upon this amazing structure, uh, which is part of the University of the Peruvian Amazon, one year before during a trip to Ninarumi, which is a small town that's located 23 kilometers north from Iquitos, the capital city of this region. The project kind of dissects the physical makeup of the university's agronomy faculty, which is a brutalist structure built around 1961 in the Peruvian Amazonian rainforest. I felt this building held a number of contradictions because in one hand the university was created as a response um, to the demand of a higher education institution in the area that was voiced uh, by the communities for decades. And in the other hand, the architectural style of the building is not just impressive for the power of its scale, but also because, uh, because of the way in which it imposes itself over nature, interfering with its order and also not necessarily um, responding to the community necessities. So, for example, an important aspect of this work that I think can also tell us in a very simple and perhaps even literal way about this type of power mechanisms is the constant struggle between nature and the architectural structure that we can appreciate in the video. This struggle could be understood as a metaphor about the definition of modernity as opposed to non-Western cultures that are directly associated to nature and how this statement imposed throughout history is still materialized through an elite that believes that progress means abandoning the savagery that's still associated to indigenous communities. The video was showcased for the first time in 2016 uh, at the Glasgow International Festival. For that exhibition, I also developed a sculptural piece that reproduced one specific section of the building in order to emphasize those issues through the presence of this large object imposed into the space, and also as a reminder on how in modern societies such a hollow object could create the illusion of well-being and prosperity. UNAP has also been part of several exhibitions, such as Espejo Negro, Elefante Blanco, curated by Fabiola Isa in Mexico, uh, the film festival made by women in Lima, uh, the Bienal Tropical in Puerto Rico, curated by Marina Reyes Franco and Pablo León de la Barra, uh, the Bienal Sur, uh, it has also been part of uh, Sol Calero's uh, solo show at the Hamburger Banoff Museum in Berlin, in a special section curated by Xira Pisa. And finally, uh, it's been part as a, of a group show at Lucia de la Puente Gallery in Lima. I feel that this work has acquired many other layers over time, not only in relationship to my body of work, but also around the situation that we are currently experiencing due to the health crisis. Uh, in Peru, the Amazon is one of the most affected regions by the pandemic and as a result, many members of our native community have died. In fact, around 14 professors of this specific university have already lost their lives. So this definitely has to do with a system that places those communities at the edge of development representation and does not consider them as voices of opinion or uh, innovative agents or uh, active participants uh, in the process of making important decisions such as the strategies to face the pandemic.